I'm Patricia Sanabria Frederick, and I'm here today to answer some of the questions that you sent me. And uh, one of them is how I storage my pieces. So I like to storage them um, right side together. And then because of the size of my drawer, I need to fold it one more time. But I like to fold it right where the applique will start, right there. And that way I don't have any crease in my wool applique. And then when I'm ready to use, I just take it to the iron board. And then I use a piece of cloth or teflon and iron them. So that way you don't have any shiny spots in your toweling. So that's, that's how I take care of my pieces and how I storage them. One more question is what kind of wool and what kind of tools I use. Let's start for the wool. I like to use 100% hand dye wool. And I'm gonna show you some of the pieces so you see the effect of the hand dye wool. Here we have a red one. I'm gonna show you this light gold color so you see the effect. And then you need to have a very nice quality wool, 100% wool, to make a difference in your projects. And then I'm gonna show you this other one. It's just beautiful, the effect. It makes your project very unique. And then of course you need the toweling. I like to use toweling from Mora. And then um, I like to use heat and bond light. The heat and bond light is the one that I like to use the most. And then um, now with my tools, I just have my Soul Line blue pen. I recommend this one because it's the one that I use and I know it works well. I have the mechanical pen, pencils too. I have in white and black. I have these friction ones, very convenient because uh, they disappear with the heat. I like to have this little ruler by me too because sometimes you need to measure distance between pieces so it's very handy to have. And then of course a nice pair of scissors. There's many out there in the market that you can have. And of course, you probably have already your favorite. And mine are these ones, are from French General. And she's a Mora designer. And uh, is, they are very nice and sharp. I have this one for a few years already. And then they are still nice and sharp. And the point is very nice. So I love them. So, and they come in this little nice pocket with the ribbon. So when I'm working, I just put it on and then I have my sis the scissors by me. Then we need to talk about the needles. I like tulip needles and um, I use embroidery needle, a sorter, thin needle. That's what I like to use. And different sizes depending on the project that I'm using, but this that I have right here is number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10. This is the one that I use the most. And then of course my thimble. And then of course my big wax, 100% big wax. And this is big wax from Georgia. So, And then uh, of course, Baldani threads. And these are the ones that I use in all my projects. Since I started doing this, I, my first class, they introduced me to Baldani threads many years ago, and these are the only ones I ever tried. They work very good for me. And then now I wanna talk about um, my patterns and kits from the website. And before I forget, I wanna talk to you about the new collection that Baldani put together for me for the Rising Hope Design Table Runner that's being very popular. 
and now they have my collection rising hope so you can purchase through my website or you can purchase through Baldani Tweets. And then if you go to the website and you want to purchase any of our kits, uh, this is what you get. You get your pattern, you get your kits with all the wool and toweling that you need for your project. This one in particular is from Ponceri and Berries. This one I want to show you, they have different color. This is an in black toweling with all the beautiful hand dyed wool. And this one is for on the fence. And this is what you get if you purchase the kit and the pattern. But you can also purchase just the patterns, just the toweling, or the patterning kit. And this is what I have for you today. So if you have any more questions, please let me know. Just comment below or send me an email. I will be more than happy to try to answer you. I am very grateful that you stopped by today. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give it a like to the videos. Thank you and blessings to all of you.